What's up everyone, Jonathan here from Jopa Tech, and I wanted to make a quick video comparing the iPhone 11 and the LG Velvet. I have used both phones for a bit of time now as I have moved away from my Pixel 3a. Although both the Velvet and iPhone 11 are in different leagues of their own, both of these phones are now at the two-year mark and can only be found on the used market. Now, it's probably easy to deduce the winner here, <coughs> iPhone, but the Velvet does dominate in one category. In this video, I'm going to briefly talk about overall performance, display, and battery life. The basic tech trinity when it comes to phones. Let's dive in. So when talking performance, I'm mostly concerned with how the phone handles everyday tasks. That involves streaming music, watching some videos, messaging, social browsing, and reading articles online. Nothing both phones couldn't handle. However, and we all saw this coming, the iPhone just handles any task I throw at it without any hiccups. Despite the Velvet having 6GB of RAM, I still notice small stutters when switching between apps. I will experience far more background app closures on the Velvet, especially if I left open a demanding app like a game. On the iPhone 11, you get 4GB of RAM, and since Apple has everything pretty unified, that 4GB goes a long way. Speedy performance is also found on the iPhone over the Velvet. Apple's own A13 Bionic chip can handle any task you want it to do except for household chores or raising your kids. Leave that to Paw Patrol. Inside the Velvet, you have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G CPU, which is found in numerous phones from 2019 and 2020. It is efficient, but lacks the raw processing power you get with the A13 Bionic. The Velvet can handle games fairly well with very minimal lag or stutter, but will take some time to actually load the game in the first place. With that, I award 50 points to Griffin, I mean Apple. Now, if you already have a Velvet or any LG OLED TV, then I think you know who the winner is here. The LG Velvet stands tall at 6.1 inches and sports a 1080p screen with LG's own P OLED technology. Videos look stunning with amazing contrast and deep blacks. In my opinion, the 6.1 inch 720p Liquid Retina IPS LCD screen, ugh, what a mouthful, doesn't even come close to the Velvet. Imagine if you had a deluminator and you were able to focus its powers on the borders of movies. Kind of a waste of magical powers, but the borders look nice. The one thing these displays share is the refresh rate. Both phones are 60Hz, which would only be problematic for anyone coming from a phone with 90Hz or more. I haven't owned a phone with a higher refresh rate, so I'm not disappointed by either of the screen's inability to make a video about smooth peanut butter even smoother. To be clear, I'm not bashing the iPhone's retina display. It is smooth, it does look crisp, and it is vibrant. The display on the iPhone was also used to help keep the overall cost of the phone down just under a thousand Canadian dollars. However, I award 50 points to the Velvet. And now for the final category, the battery. Battery health on the Velvet is sitting around 97% and the iPhone has 100%. I recently had the iPhone's battery replaced by a third party since the iPhone is out of warranty and kinda became my daily driver replacing my Pixel 3a. In the Velvet, you have a 4300 mAh battery that is capable of up to 25 watt fast charging and includes nine watt wireless charging. The iPhone 11 comes packed with a 3110 mAh battery capable of 18 watt fast charging and up to 7.5 watt wireless charging speed depending on the charging pad. As I previously mentioned earlier, my normal day is pretty simple. So, with the newly replaced battery in the iPhone, I can expect to see above 50% by the end of a normal day. That's really good. Before the battery was replaced, I was hovering in the 20% range by the end of my day. The last while, I have been charging the iPhone once every two days, which doesn't seem right to me, since almost every phone I've had in the past required a charge by the end of the day. Well, except for my Blue Studio Energy back in 2015. That got me like four days. The Velvet will provide enough juice for me to get me through my day, but getting two full days of charge is as unobtainable as a well-hidden Horcrux. On that note, I award the iPhone 11 50 points and the overall win. Thank you everyone for watching my quick smartphone throwdown between the iPhone 11 and the LG Velvet. Do you have one of these phones? What battery percentage are you at by the end of your day? Do you think batteries are getting better or worse? Comment down below your thoughts and don't forget to hit that like button. If you enjoyed my Harry Potter references, a sub to the channel would be awesome. I'm Jonathan from Jopa Tech. Thank you again, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.